What's up, everybody? Welcome to NFT Steve's It's Voice, coming to you live on this Friday from the studio. We're going to talk about the new sale of the Michelangelo NFT for $170,000, and also, of course, the fingerprint verification of NFT art that is just launched that will help out a lot in this community. Before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and always subscribe, because we do drop content here and on other channels. Definitely want to add those to your platforms if you're on Instagram, TikTok, blah, 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 etc. So let's get into this. The Uffizi Gallery just sold a Michelangelo NFT for $170,000 and now looking to mint more of their masterpieces from their collection. This is a big deal, obviously, because you're going to have the opportunity to own a piece of beautiful art, but not just the fact that you're going to be able to own a piece of beautiful art, you're going to own the only one. The other great part about this with the museum itself is that they are allocating processes that will make sure you have the only certificate for this NFT. Obviously, put it on the blockchain shows that, but as we've discussed before, there are other issues with the blockchain technology being copied or, for instance, the re-rolling of the e-bits. Of course, everything that's coming out is new. There's going to be hiccups here and there when creating new tech. The museum itself is creating certificates that will help in authenticating purchases of these pieces of artwork. Now, the other part, another company has come out in Switzerland. They are called 4Art Technologies AG, and it's basically a digital fingerprint, a verification that help prevent against such things as scams and robbery. It will help manage your art collections, presenting them in a virtual showroom that you'll have through this platform. It's going to help the NFT world not being so exploited on the art side. And of course, NFTs themselves will become more valuable with the tech, with anything that is being minted that belongs on the blockchain. It's going to elevate your price for what you do own. It'll eliminate a lot of the backlog that is going on currently with the use of Ethereum and getting things minted put onto the blockchain. It's going to make the fine arts more fine and it's going to make the new art that is coming out even better. That was the problem with PSA. They got a whole bunch of memorabilia and cards to get graded. They couldn't keep up with the demand that was coming in, so they had to shut the whole company down. And that's why this whole technology and the way this museum is going about it is going to help prevent that happening in the future. I think that you're going to get a great boost down the road in what's going to happen with the prices of NFTs that is coming out. So once the dust settles, and I've been talking about this, of course, there's an NFT winter coming. People are going to be prepared for that to happen. But after that, is the market going to just dip? No, not at all. It's going to take off. I see prices going even higher. You're going to have more backing of uh, solidification that this is a legit thing. It's going to be a lot better than what's currently out there today with the anything's getting minted at this point and sold. The dynamic that is very intriguing right now is what the value is going to be after all of the dust does settle and things take off in a positive manner. And that's why I really dive into everything and try to bring it to you guys. What do you think about all of it? Let me know. Can't wait to see where this goes. As always, this is Voice out.